Hello everyone and welcome to the Food Review UK Advent Calendar. This is day 10. Would you believe that we're on day 10? I hope you're enjoying the Food Review UK Advent Calendar 2015. I can exclusively reveal to today we're going to be reviewing the Marks and Spencer M&S Salted Caramel Snowflakes. These are salted caramel flavour pretzels. Now when they're described as being salted caramel I will let them off if it is simply a salted pretzel with a caramel coating. That would be nice. Although I can't actually see chunks of salt. Oh, can I? Oh, no, I might be able to, actually. Also very interesting to note is that they're different sizes. Which is a nice touch. You see that? Some smaller ones and some bigger ones. Yeah, could be very promising. Whilst I open the bag, I'm going to promote a few channels. Resource Man Daily is my random channel. Really weird stuff goes on on there, so I can definitely recommend it. If you just want to see something different, you'll, you'll find something different on there. Trust me, if you have a look at all the uploaded videos, you will find something different. And of course, Michael Jameson Comedy. I promote that a lot because I'm, I'm proud of, of a lot of the stuff on there. That is like a very sweet caramel smell. Certainly very strong. Like, it smells absolutely potent. Buttery. It's very, very enticing. It's, oh, it's going to sound slightly odd, but I get almost a... A fox's biscuit smell from it, but better. Because I'm, I'm actually not the biggest fan of fox's biscuits, but um, yeah, I think it does have chunks of salt on actually. Yeah, let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, oh dear. Salt is so strong, but then it gets very dry. Let's try a smaller one. Okay, I think yeah, it does have salt salt crystals on there as well. Smaller ones are much better. Yeah, I think the ratio of um, flavouring goes slightly better. I had a somewhat similar product before. The uh, Snyder's of Hanover, not Snyder's of anywhere else. Salted caramel, ultra crispy, crunchy pretzel bites. Quite similar. Really nice and salty. Even the, even the powdering, the actual flavouring itself is salty which is fantastic because so often you know these these things this massive craze that seems to be at the moment uh, people calling their product salted caramel and not actually being salty you know this is more than salty enough because not only do you have the actual coating itself is noticeably salty but it also has salt clusters on the pretzel so i'm absolutely going to give them points for that it's almost double salted caramel which is fine by me Mm. Really good actually. They um the bigger ones do suffer a little bit from being very dry. The flavouring on the outside, whilst strong and powerfully flavoured, it does go too quickly. So it almost feels like you need a dip with these things. Which would almost be a shame because it would cover cover up the lovely flavour of that powder, but you know, if it is gonna enhance the flavour further and actually make you taste it and moisten it up. There are positives. I've just thought I've got I've got like a sticky toffee sauce in the cupboard, but I think it's quite old. Let me have a look at it. Got a genuine French product here. My sister bought me this. It's like a chocolatey caramel sauce. Um, I have opened it. However, I would be concerned as to how good this still is. It smells fine. There's a bit of dryness on the lid, but I suppose what doesn't kill you makes you makes you stronger. Am I right, guys? <laughs> well, obviously that's amazing. If it has gone bad, it doesn't taste it, and that is very odd. That is seriously, that is like months and months old. Um, uh, it does say used before 20th of March, so, um, hmm, fantastic. Okay, so on their own, I have to commend them. It's a new and interesting product. I've never seen anything quite like it. Obviously, as I mentioned, I've seen the Snyder's of Hanover, which is a different kind of vehicle, but I've never seen anything like a big old bag of just normal pretzels like this. Different shapes, sizes as well, and the flavour's really good. 
And they, as I say, they are pretty much are double sorted, so m and are brave in doing this. Um, yeah, it has its it has its criticisms, or I have it, my criticisms about it. But because they are new and different, I'd give them a low four stars. With the sauce, it's a high four, but that's not really the review, is it? So, thanks for watching, everyone. Next couple of days are going to be some vintage videos filmed back in the past, 2014. Really appreciate you watching and subscribe for more videos and the remainder of the advent calendar.